In this video, we're going to look at loop recording a groove in Ableton Live. So the first thing we want to remember that we have, uh, we can move through our scenes, down and up through our scenes with these pads. I can launch clips with that pad. I can turn session view recording on and off with this one on the end. I can change my tempo right here, and I can change my click on and off right here. And I'm going to keep my click on. I'm going to go to the uh, tempo and set that around 100. I don't, have to be, I don't have to be precise though. And then I can launch a clip and the, I, the first thing I want to do is be able to create an exact four by uh, four measure loop. So I'll hit this here, two, three, four. And anytime here I can hit that again and it's going to start that at the beginning of the next measure and I have an exact four measure groove. So that's the first thing I want to be able to do. Then I want to be able to turn on and off overdub or session view recording as it were. So this button here, you'll see as I turn that, it turns on the O, which is our which is our session view record button or overdub here. And it also changes what the what the arrow here is. If I click it, it turns to red and I could add to the clip. So if I just wanted to practice a bit here. I think I'm ready. Record. Now, we have that. Now I can turn that off and I can try some kick and snare pattern. I like that. and we have a decent groove. I can turn my click off, and I can hear it at a faster tempo. We'll zoom out so you can see that open hi-hat in there. Okay, so that's the basic procedure, right? Now let me stop this and talk about a few things. First is, the rhythms are all really good in there, aren't they? And I'm actually not that great a player. And the reason why they went in so perfectly is I went to Edit Menu and chose Record Quantization and chose 16th Note Quantization. And that makes it so everything I play on my MIDI pad here goes in perfectly quantized. And it's perfect for applying groove later. When you apply groove, it's best to have things heavily quantized anyway. So it's as if we're just preparing our recording for groove. Love that, and it really makes the, the groove recording process go super smooth. So I would suggest you, you experiment with record quantization.